Welcome to Charts from the Media. The head and shoulders pattern can be a little bit more complicated than a typical pattern, so we thought that we would make a video on it. There's a couple items that are involved with the head and shoulders pattern. You have a left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and neckline. If you have these items visual to you, you can calculate a target price of where it should head after the neckline is broken. So how do we do this? To measure the approximate price target, you measure the distance between the bottom of the head candle and the neckline. So this green arrow is 913 minus 873. That gives us 40. Then we subtract 40 from where it broke out from the neckline on the right side. So here's the right shoulder, here is the neckline, and this is where it broke out. So if you take this area of minus 40, that gives you a price target of 848. Now the price did not go immediately down there, came down, bounced back up, but it did eventually hit that. Once that price target is hit, that would be considered a complete price pattern. Some things to keep in mind, ideally the volume on the right shoulder, so this is the right shoulder, this would be the volume, you would want the right shoulder volume to be lower than the volume on the left shoulder. This was the left shoulder, if you look down here at the volume, that was much higher. So that makes it um, a clearer head and shoulders pattern. And then for the neckline, that can turn into a resistance. So the neckline was the support line all the way through here, broke down, met the target, and as it's heading up, now you're going to be looking at that 900 level as a resistance level. Thanks for revisiting Charts from the Media. Hope you learned something.